Okay. I realize now that everything that I did was wrong. Okay. I realize now some things are better off said than done. Okay. I realize now that maybe I'm not ready for eating six cloves of garlic. My tummy is upset. I'm done. So done. Uh, I'm numb. So numb. I'm numb to all the pain you bring. I'm trying to figure this one all out for myself. I don't need you or no other intense tummy hurting food. I'm done. So done. So done. So done. So done. So done. I am done. Oh, look, um, Ian, so look, in the last video, I ate the, I ate the, uh, what is it called? Garlic cloves, I ate five. My tummy still hurts afterwards. The tummy pain, I didn't, I wasn't lying. The tummy pain did diminish, but it kind of went back up. I'm going to get through it, but, uh, I don't think I'm going to go up to six, honestly, because at that point, it's just, it's just like self-harm. It's just like purposely bringing pain to my body uh, and a pain that is potent. It's not like the pain you get when you're working out or something or stretching. It's like this very harmful kind of pain. You can feel it harming your body. At least that's what it seems like to me. I don't know. I doubt the garlic is working wonders inside my stomach. I know it's a healthy food. <sighs> but, uh... Like this tummy pain, my tummy hurts so badly. It's, I mean, and if this lasts for like an hour, it's just gonna be really annoying. No joke, no cap. Oh, yeah. Would I say my stoicism has broken? Um, uh, no, I no no. But would I say? I'm not a supporter of self-harm and I'm not interested in participating in such a thing. Oh, I'll definitely say that. Um, this tummy pain is very intense. As you can see, my bed is messy. Uh, I don't know, really, like, should I clean it? It's not really my bed, honestly. It's just the room I'm in. But, no, nah, I don't think it's a big deal, honestly. But yeah, that's, you know, it's kind of weird, honestly, because there are certain kind of pains that cause you to not be able to talk and look normal and function properly. Like, I, I look like a normal person in a normal state of mind and in a normal uh, existence where your body's not in pain. Something about like spicy pain and like spicy foods and very intense stuff like that. For some reason, you can you can do that stuff and still act seemingly normal. Like, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to make a comparison because I don't want to talk about something depressing. But like, there are other ways you someone could hurt their body that would basically make it very hard for them to still act normal. But I have a very intense stomach pain right now that, uh, it's like, a, it's like a heat and I can still pretty much talk like I'm, I'm in no pain at all. It's kind of weird. Did I show you guys my belt? I actually made a ghetto belt for my shorts because I have some pairs of shorts that are um, kind of too big for me, I guess. But, uh, excuse me. Oh, geez, garlic really makes your breath smell bad. I can, sm I can, sm I could smell the, the the air when it came out of my mouth. Mm. But anyways, here's my ghetto belt. So how you make the ghetto belt is you take the um, made in China. Wow, everything's made in China. You take the what is this thing called? A clothes hanger. Take one of these, break a piece of off, put duct tape on the end. You don't want to risk hurting yourself. The duct tape makes it makes it safer. 
Um, and then you take the part of the pants that are too tight, you kind of wrap it, put them, make it proper, then you squeeze it on, if you can imagine. And th this, this is the ghetto belt here. Uh, so uh, yeah, but that's how that's how it went, man. I'm not gonna do this anymore, man. I'm not. I'm not interested in self harm. Uh, I don't just view self harm as emo people cutting themselves to to because Satan wants them to, and they believe it, it's like useful somehow. I also view self harm as doing things that you know are going to hurt yourself. Like if someone jumps on a stack of thumbtacks, that's self harm. If you eat seven garlic cloves and you know it's going to cause, or six garlic cloves and you know it's going to make tummy upset, that's self-harm. Not interested in participating in self-harm. So, you know, garlic cloves, you were nice while you lasted. I don't think I'll ever eat you anytime soon and again, honestly. This experience was humbling. This experience was challenging. But this recent experience is, uh, most importantly, and uh, most significantly, was tummy upsetting. No, I don't want to. I do not want my tummy to be more upset than it is right now. No, not by any means at all. Uh, so what's going on right now? Um, nothing much really. I've got great day, great day of exercise. Uh, did a lot of exercise. If you're not exercising, you should do that. Really, um, start small. You do you know progressive overload, do more each week and whatnot. But anyways, uh, I, I've said I've said. As I've said many times before, I'm out of the school system, so not really. I'm still in the school system in a sense, but I'm doing it online with their online thing. Um, so how's school going? I don't know. I had a, I had a gay politics class I was in. Um, I guess they talked about January 6th, I'm assuming, yesterday. The anniversary of January 6th was yesterday. So I'm, I assume they talked about that in the gay politics class that I was going to be in. Which, if you're in school... You know, don't sign up for a politics class. Just don't. It's going to be gay. All the teachers, uh, any political influence they have is from the left. It's from this this gay, um, mommy, mommy, agreeableness. Do whatever makes everyone happy. It's it's all that. That's all that. There's no, like, right-wing political consensus or political energy uh, in school staff. So just don't join, a, don't join a politics class. It's just going to be gay. <sighs> And so, yeah, but anyway, I'm really glad I'm missing out on that. I don't just say that to be funny or something. I really mean that. I was not looking forward to going uh, to school at all. Uh, no joke. And I'm really grateful. Mm, I view it as a reward for uh, a reward potentially from God for uh, not not just not participating in the nonsense, uh, unironically. Uh, but I'm just glad I'm free from the school system out because literally I remember the first week of school I was there and I just went home and I sat down um, at the piano just playing the piano or whatever and I just felt this sense of like demoralization like just just violation like wow I have to go to this place and hear this gay uh, political lefty feminist uh, rhetoric for the whole school year. And I was just so demoralized by that. So I'm glad I'm doing, you know, easy online work now. I've got the school computer right next to me. I'm actually, I'm probably behind, honestly, because I didn't do today's schoolwork, but I was behind last semester and I, I grinded all the way up. I grinded, I've, one, one night I did 12 hours of grinding, the next night I did nine hours, the next six hours, and then so on and so on. I caught up, and I only have five classes this semester. Last semester, I had six classes. Um, so, yeah. 
that's that. That's what's going on with me right now. But yeah, I just wanted to make this this thing real quick because you know I gotta let it, I gotta let it be known. We can't keep this up forever. I'm not a supporter of self harm. You know what I mean? If you're going to participate in the Stoicism Garlic Eating Challenge, the Stoic Garlic Challenge, I would recommend you do it carefully. Uh, you, you do it with with get used use the brain God gave you. Don't hurt yourself. And uh, if, it if it becomes to a point of self harm, you gotta cut it out. You gotta cut it out. Self harm is not good. And unfortunately, that day has come for me. Was it intentional self harm? No, but it was self harm. I'm in a state of harm right now. My tummy, my tummy is so upset. Um, so yeah, that's. It was nice while it lasted. It was nice while it, la while it lasted, uh, but the garlic time's over. It's over. So uh, just wanted to let that be known. Uh, for those of you who participated in the, in the garlic, still a garlic eating experience with me, who who sat back and watched. Thank you. You are awesome. And um, yeah.